Number one, you must establish rapport. Number two, you must find the need. It's not complicated. Number three, you have to build some value. You build value around what it is that you want to be offering. Number four, you have to make them want it. Create desire. Make me want it. Number five, you have to overcome the objections. Number six, you have to close. And we're going to cover each one of these. And number seven, you have to follow up. And notice that these are all in the shape of a pyramid. And that down below, all by itself in a little box, is follow up. Because it's so important. I've stressed it a little bit. I showed you the sales form where we track and monitor what the salesperson does. But it's so important that it has its own segment. So now, most companies work more on closing and overcoming objections. And the top part of the pyramid is really up to the individual. But if you look at what the best do, and we're all about being the best, right? right. Whoever's about being the best, say aye. OK, just want to keep you guys awake and alive. So what they do is they focus all their energy at the top part of this pyramid. Establishing rapport, and by the way, not my opinion, studies show that your um, criterion for making a decision, 40% of it is based upon if you respect and trust the person trying to make the sale. So, so that's 40% of the sale. Finding the need is another 25%. What's that total, 40 and 25%? How much? <laughs> OK, great. So you're 65% of the way to a close if you just do the first two things really well. And most people don't do the first two things really well. 